Hey guys, and welcome to this very special blogisode, vlogisode, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see on the sign next to me, this is also a particular episode, but I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, excuse me, I don't want to do any such thing. Before I get to any of that though, um, I just want to say again, thank you guys for your absolutely phenomenal support in... Um, last week or so it's been overwhelming to the point where um <laughs> strangely enough things have slowed down a bit because i've had to think so much about how to deal with all the uh with everything going on making sure people are communicated with and that sort of thing so thank you it's been absolutely amazing and um i also possibly have some good news i must touch wood while i tell you this but um there is also the possibility of me getting a place, so it's all kind of happened all at once. Um, soon after, like a day and a half after uh, I put the vlog out, uh, so half a day after I put the thank you out, um, I was doing some house searching and I contacted someone and uh, we are possibly... And when I say we, I mean me. I'm possibly going to be moving to another location very, very soon. And it's a very nice place. And I'll be very happy if I get it. Um, so that's all very exciting. Um, also means I'll get out of this stressful situation that I'm in now. And um, the support from you guys are going to make sure that that goes so smoothly. <laughs> More smoothly than I could ever hope for. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, and to that effect, this also means that if you're seeing this um, and you donated to my Patreon for this month, now is the time that you might want to unsign from my Patreon if um, this month was the time that you thought you would, uh, that you would give to, um, to my cause. That would be... Um, now would be the time to do that, would be the time to unsign, because everyone has been processed, as far as I can tell. Um, and, yeah, you should also check your emails if you haven't, because I did send you all a message through Patreon to tell you that you can um, unsign now as well. So, um, but if you're seeing this, it kind of... It's kind of redundant, I guess. <laughs> uh, Patreon also tell you when you've been processed. So, I mean, it's a triple layer of security for you if you're wondering when and how. Uh, now's the time to do it. So thank you, thank you for your support. Uh, and thank you guys um, for your ongoing support too. Uh, as I've said so many times uh, in response to, to comments, because there's only... Um, so many words that I have in my vocabulary, but uh, your support means the world to me, even if you can't um, give materially, even if uh, money is not an option for you, your words and your support, and, and watching my content, and talking to me on Twitter, and responding, and that sort of thing, it's, it's, all, it's all amazing. Um, and I'm touched and overwhelmed, and uh, we'll just see how the next couple of months uh, play out hopefully um, we can get some good content going and as soon as I'm in the new place the plan is to go back to one video a day uh, and then we'll go from there um, and we'll also be going back to Minecraft and Witcher content um, until Witch is done so basically the way that I think I'm intending to do things is to have the sandbox game of the time going so in this case that would be Minecraft and the finite game, because sandboxes aren't really finite, they can just go indefinitely um, and can go on and off in a season kind of way, but then also running on alternate days I'm going to have the finite game, the game with an ending, and in this case that's Witcher, right, so um, I think that's how I'm going to do things going forward. It's been nice to be able to actually sit down and plan like that, um, because I haven't had a lot of the uh, stress of figuring out where income's coming from and that sort of thing over the last few days. So I've been able to put some brain power into figuring out that stuff. And that's, again, all thanks to you guys. Um, 
as far as Terraria goes, because it's kind of been the absolute staple on the um, the account uh, over this time. That's going to go until it's finished. Uh, I think I did 16 episodes. The entire thing's finished now uh, on my end, so I only need to do daily up, um, uploads for that. I need to edit them and then upload them. Um, but 16 episodes, so that should be done fairly shortly. I think there's only like three episodes or so to go. Um, and then we'll go back to regularly scheduled content. <laughs> um, so that will be awesome. That will be very, very, very awesome. So as far as what we're looking at now, I finally got on to um, Forgecraft 2. Um, one of the things in the last couple of days, you notice that I was in a single player world when I was doing the vlog and the thank you. It would have actually been on Forgecraft if I could have got on Forgecraft. Um, the reason I couldn't get on Forgecraft is because there were some weird packet issues with um, uh, Tema's mod, Extra Utilities, uh, and it required a very specific set of Forge versions which I wasn't using. Um, so there was no way that I kind of knew that until I managed to talk to Direwolf and Soren today and um, got uh, what version they were using. So now I'm on a Forge version that actually lets me log in, which is nice and actually lets me talk about things like this scary word, final, because this is, for all intents and purposes, this vlogisode is the final episode of Forgecraft 2 for this season. Uh, next Thursday is the planned date. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual uh, day number that is for the month. I think it's something like 10. <laughs> uh, if I'm just going to take a step. Um, we will be shutting down Forgecraft 2 and resetting it. So it'll be a brand new fresh Forgecraft 2. So this season has to come to an end. Because there's only a few days left... It doesn't really give me enough time to um, get anything more done for the Forgecraft 2 season, which is a real shame because I tried really hard with the season to um, to make sure that it was um, regular content. And unfortunately, uh, the server and my life was fraught with difficulties. Server in particular had a lot of difficulties. There was a lot of buggy mods this um, time round. So... A lot of people scattered to the wind very quickly and it was difficult to play on occasion and that sort of thing. So, um, I didn't get as much as I wanted to get done. We've got several buildings and, and systems and things like that and I think we did some nice stuff. But not nearly as much as I would have hoped to do. Um, I had planned a great, great many more episodes for this season that I just didn't get to do. Um, and won't get the time to do, and I don't want to start anything now, um, episode-wise, because it kind of feels like a bit of a wasted effort, um, if it's going to be coming to a close very, very soon. So, uh, one thing I was working on before everything went to pot was, uh, I was looking at doing excavation, and I had set up this little gizmo here, which is a combination of a diesel generator, which runs off diesel fuel, well, runs off any fuel, actually, any compatible fuel. Um, and I was going to do an episode on that and show you what I had organised, um, including how to build the excavator and the diesel engine. And I had this little filter thing here preparing fuel for me. Um, but the excavator is very, very cool. It's a very neat system. It doesn't actually uh, destroy the world in any way. But it is a limited um, resource, and I hope next server we get to show that. But you can see, this is all filled with ferrous ore and shiny ore. Uh, and that was the only content in there. I haven't edited that at all, apart from that first slot, which I went and experimented with. Um, and all the slimes are back. I also have these blocks here, because uh, there was a system in place with the excavator to find out what areas have what in them, and these blocks kind of indicate to me what their major component was. So there's a copper block there, which means that I'd mostly get copper if, if I put the excavator down there and an iron block, but you'll see all that next um, iteration of Forgecraft 2. So 
In saying that, yes, there will be another season of Forgecraft 2 coming very, very shortly. Um, hopefully, next Thursday will be the first episode I get to record something, so it'll either show up um, the day after, or the morning after, or wherever I manage to get it. I'll pretty much edit and upload it as soon as I can. Um, and it'll go up as soon as possible, so that's a thing. There was other things we were going to work on, like what to do with this node, which I imagine has just got silly huge in my absence. Let's take a look so we can get a final tally on it, huh? I need to do this, and then fly at this side. As you can see, it's bigger than the actual box that contains it. So the plan was to get all of the... It doesn't really pay off to do it like this, like I could have used it at this stage now. Um, but I had planned to get it up to something silly, like 500 in each category, and thought that would be pretty cool for us to play with. Um, but alas, it's not to be. Uh, I also set up something which I don't know whether did I? I don't think I did. Um, I wanted to set up this little contraption over here. Oh, I just fed it a baby slime. Please get out of the way so I can continue what I'm doing, slimes. Thank you. Um, this little contraption, which is a pipeless contraption. Uh, all it does is sends the... I think we're using crafting tables. Yeah, sends the crafting tables into this buffer and drops the crafting tables in there. Um, and they get teleported directly inside the node, or as close to the node as I could get when I linked the linking book. It uses an intralinking linking book. And this is functioning, it's just not making anything. I guess I just don't have any planks, huh? Ah well. It's also very dark. I'm gonna go sleep because I'm the only one on the server. Oh, that's another thing. I actually had to, um, in my search to get onto the actual server, I uh, uh, reinstalled the thing, so I'm sorry about that. It should have been on bright this whole time, but it was on moody. So um, I apologize, because that's going to look awful on YouTube. Let me in. And of course we have our cool storage system, which I was hoping to expand, but it didn't get much further than that wall. Um, Again, it's just a limit of time. I also put it in a last millennium portal because I was experimenting with that and then found there were people hiding out there. <laughs> Entire bases. Uh, we might look at that in a second, actually. Now that it's daytime, I'm going to go somewhere that doesn't even need daylight. So if you enter the last millennium portal, go to the last millennium which is a extra utilities dimension um, that isn't the deep dark. This is what I was talking about. This tree and this building and that orb and that sort of thing. Those are not part of the last millennium. The only thing in the last millennium when it's first generated is this little square platform. But we might get to look at that. It's a shared dimension. It's a shared void dimension. Um, so it's a void dimension that you don't need Mistcraft for, basically. I think that's the idea of what it's meant to be. But it's shared on a server, and I don't know how I feel about that. Because I imagine it could get very cluttered very fast. But that was a cool building. I don't know who built it. I don't know what's happening. Excuse me. Oh dear. Might need to do something like this. Take the pick back and can I? I am digging something in this direction. Aha! Alright. Got teleported underneath sand. That is not cool. But at least I didn't die. That did not happen last time I uh, went to the last millennium, so I'm not sure why it happened now. 
At least I don't think it did. It has been a while since I was on the server. Anywho. So, where were we? I need to fly back to the base now. Um, yeah, so it's unfortunate that we have to give up Forgecraft 2 and the season has to end early and I didn't get as many episodes and things done as I wanted to, but hopefully we can make next season better and hopefully the server is um, functions better. Uh, next server, there isn't as much... Um, buggy mods going on. Well, there's always going to be buggy mods. Let's be serious here. It's a testing server for um, for buggy mods, but hopefully they're not going to be as game-breaking as they have been um, for this server. And also on top of that, hopefully we have some um, more careful and respectful building from other testers um, to make sure that when they're not online, they're not destroying the server for everyone else because it's all well and good to um to stress test things but if you're stress testing things when you're not around it's not really testing is it it's just stressing <laughs> um yeah so we made some cool buildings it's all good but um next season is coming and uh, within the week so i hope you all look forward to that and again I'm never going to have the words to express this, but uh, because it's just so outside the scope of the language required, but I am just so in gratitude to all of you and and your support, um, and I am so happy that this this um, this little project of mine, this YouTube channel, is going to be alive and kicking for a good long while. Hopefully, and it's all thanks to you guys, and I really, really, really really appreciate it <laughs> so anyway thank you all for watching if i missed anything just ask me a question down below and i'll try and um i'll try and answer your questions as best as i can and um, you know me i like to interact with the audience so i'll be there typing away furiously hopefully and answering your questions so thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye